What's up, internet? Senior will be here. Action driving vlog 15. A little surprise for you. Let me just grab the camera. Look at this. Oh, it's snowing. It's really hard to see, but it's snowing. Okay, back to the normal spot. <laughs> so I almost forgot to set the camera before I left and just kind of pulled out of my driveway and was like, I'm forgetting something. What's wrong here? So, luckily, I remembered. Ooh, that's a terrible noise. But yes, exciting news. I ordered almost every piece that I need for my computer last night on the internet from uh, Newegg.com. So far, it's working pretty well. Oh man, there's Scott picking up his trash can. Anyway, um, ordered all that. Just got a confirmation this morning that all the internals, which is, let's count it here, the motherboard, the 16 gigabytes of RAM, the processor, which is an i5. What are you doing? Let's just park in the middle of the road. Anyway, we got motherboard, uh, Asus motherboard, something something 77, uh, oh, 1155, and an i5 processor, a 1155 as well, so it'll match. 16 gigabytes of RAM on two 8 gigabyte sticks. Uh, Something. Oh yeah, uh, 550 watt power supply just in case I decide to get a hunkingly huge uh, graphics card with CUDA cores out the fucking asshole. Then I'll have plenty of room for it. <clears throat> and what else? Let's see, motherboard. Oh, and a DVD drive. So I shall be set. And what is it? Oh, this traffic is terrible. I hope somebody stops and lets me through. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I decided to hold off on the uh, graphics card because I honestly don't know anything about graphics cards other than they're called graphics cards. So, and the word CUDA cores is important. Whatever it means, it's important. Or at least it's important to people who care a lot about their computers. So, oh yes, and uh, yeah, so I got confirmation that all that will be coming shortly. But the thing is, I ordered all that plus a case, and the case has uh, two 120mm fans on the front and one on the back, added with the fan that'll blow the, on the uh, processor the CPU and the power supply fan that'll bring it up to five fans with room for at least three more and if uh, the computer is too loud when I'm recording videos I'll have to add another uh, fan because I'm not risking my first computer build to water cooling as nice as it sounds I, is water computer no 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 Everything else just plugs into place. It's kind of idiot-proof from what I've been seeing. Everything except the uh, the CPU. I tried to uh, convince a friend of mine to put it in for me whenever I get it. He's like, nope, 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 nope. As soon as you get that shit, you are going to have to do it yourself. I was like, fuck. So that'll be fun. Every display that I've ever seen talking about putting CPUs on the motherboard is ridiculously detailed about how they're how they talk about how it's like you feel like you're breaking the entire thing because you have to like open this little latch thing that looks like it's made in the fucking 1920s everything else on this computer is so idiot proof technology ridden everything the thing that fucking holds the cpu into place a little lever i learned about this thing in third grade what the fuck is this you can't just make a slot for the goddamn thing to roll into just push it in no I have to force it down with physical pressure. 
I don't want to put physical pressure on my brand new motherboard. It's going to be right out of the box, nice and fresh. Uh, ridiculous. So all the internals will be coming by themselves, and then the case will be coming in a separate shipment. <clears throat> or it might just be spread around. I really don't know. I haven't gotten any of the details. And uh, if you think I would tell you the shipping details, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> You'll just be happy to see it when it shows up. Won't you? Yes, you will. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can I squeeze through this gap? Scratch! Yes, yes, yes. I can totally scratch scratch through this crack. Uh, who's supposed to be going? Me. That's who. Let's get over. Is that the McDonald's back there? The last two nights I've been researching the uh, computer stuff at my buddy's house who just recently built his own computer so he knows a little bit more about it than I do and I've passed that place twice once four o'clock in the morning and the second one was at two o'clock in the morning both times that fucking McDonald's wasn't open I don't understand why they say they're 24 hour if they're not gonna be open at times where people who have no time to do anything during the day, can't eat there. It pisses me off. Don't say you're a 24 hour store and then be closed at two in the morning because that's what 24 hour means. That means you're gonna be there when no one else is. Oh God, this is looking like some shitty traffic. <clears throat> Yes, uh, very, very excited about new computer. It looks like it's not stopped snowing. That's nice. I am a little worried that snow is in the forecast for almost the next week, but in small, small amounts. Knowing my luck, the fucking FedEx truck or whatever that's carrying my stuff is gonna spin out on some ice, and New Egg's gonna be like, "Well, I'm sorry, I'll take the loss," and like. I'm gonna have to like strangle a chicken if that is what runs New Egg. It's an egg site, so I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yellow light. Why? That guy's gonna run a red light. Yep. Friendship Hyundai, your service driver in the brown Hyundai Ensenada is a ter <clears throat> terrible driver. He just ran a red light. You should reprimand him. Don't fire him, because that's just wrong. But reprimand him. Make sure he understands not to fucking tailgate people to just, tr just to try and get through a light. So, I don't know what happened last night, but uh, somehow my internet just died on me. The uh, Wi-Fi router was just like, yeah, I just don't feel like doing anything any anymore for the next five hours. So pretty much as soon as I went to sleep and the video was almost done downloading to YouTube for Action Driving Vlog 14, this will be 15, uh, ooh, this big truck. As soon as I, I went to sleep and woke back up, it was like 24 minutes left. I was like, okay, that's plenty of time to uh, go and get a shower in, eat some food. And about, like, when I started my shower, I always turn my phone on and plug it up to the radio I have in my bathroom so I can play music at the same time. I noticed my Wi Fi is not working, so I was like, immediate problem. We gotta fix this. Went upstairs, unplugged the router, and wireless router or hub or whatever, I still don't know what it's called, which is why I don't understand what it does. <laughs> Unplugged it, oh shit, people on the side of the road. Ooh, nice dodge. But uh, I unplugged that shit, plugged it back in, and it started working again, came back upstairs, the download was at nine minutes, and for some reason when it got to six minutes, 
it was done, but it still kept counting down. But it was in the processing mode, so it was done. It didn't need my GoPro camera anymore. I could unplug it, get going, and record today's driving vlog. Which, I don't know why I keep finding myself in this time restraint to where I have to wait for one download to finish to record another download. I really hate it. I need multiple flashcards, anything. If you're watching this out there and you have a two gigabyte little micro SD flash card that you don't need, that you're about to throw away, just send it to me. Send it to me. That's like less than 30 minutes of 1080 HP that I can record for you, which is pretty much every driving vlog ever, except for the one that I decided to tell a story on, which was ridiculously long. But yes, uh, yeah, if you want to send me any flashcards, I'll love you forever. I'll sign something for you. I don't give a fuck. I'll rub my nuts on a napkin for you. I don't care. I really don't care. I just need so much right now. But yes, uh, in the computer build, I've allowed myself at least a, almost a hundred and sixty dollars of leeway in case A, something fucks up and I have to send it back, B, everything works and I'm ready to upgrade to the next stage of recording, which would be not just recording Steam and stuff off my computer, which I'll have to pay for like fraps or something like that, and uh, I'll have to buy, uh, I don't know what they're called, but, so I'm just going to call it the blah blah blah, blah HP V2. Whatever that is, it records gameplay from your television in 1080 HP. It's kind of popular, popular enough to where they'd sell it in a box at fucking Best Buy. So, can't beat that. And they're the same price as they are on Best Buy as they are, like, anywhere else. And I think I get some kind of discount if I shop at Best Buy with this uh, credit card I have, so I might just buy them at Best Buy. We'll see. I, I still don't know what kind of discount I get. Need to uh, research that a little bit more. And if it comes down to it, I might buy my graphics card there as well. But we'll see. Luckily, the uh, the processor I bought has like integrated 240 graphics or whatever. I don't know what that means. But I think that means it'll play most video games at almost minimalistic settings. So that's that's fucking great. Because right now all I can do is record video games in a very, very minimalistic setting. You guys will be lucky if you get 720. But we'll see. Until I get that HTV2 or whatever, I'll have 1080p from the 360 master gaming console race. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, um, a lot of my PC friends are talking about that, how ever since I was a child, I've been console master race. I've had N64, moved from that to the original Xbox One, and moved from that to a 360, moved from that to another 360, moved from that to another 360. Not by choice or problems with them breaking, but because, uh, well, Let's see, I think, I think I, uh, I came upon hard times and sold the first one. And the second one I kept for so long that I was able to get it modded and stuff like that so I could pirate games and stuff like that, which is wrong. Don't do that. Wink. But if you can, and nobody's making any money off the games, and you don't have money to buy the games, then why the fuck not? So, that's when games just start getting given away for free on Steam is when they start getting pirated over and over and over again. Or they just start making new things for that. But after that I just went on to a, a nice Wi-Fi Slim which made uh, the wire situation in my room really nice but I just chose it because it was there and it was cheap and because I could trade my old Xbox in $100 for the new Xbox which was nice. Anyway, enough technology talk for today. I like talking about technology though. We'll probably talk about that a lot more as I'm building a computer. But again, my name is Senior Whoopi. I hope you all enjoy this wonderful day of fucking snow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, favorite, take the video, put it on your boss's computer, and leave it on replay. I love you all. Ta-ra.